holy gospel, may our sins be forgiven. It is so beautiful that on the World Day of Marriage, we have couple power in reading. The readings, couple power. And today's celebration, the World Day of Marriage, reminds us that the church still considers merits as sacred. And this reminds me of the story about Mary and Joseph. Not Mary and Joseph, that St. Mary and St. Joseph, no. The story was about one day, Joseph approached his wife, hold her tightly by the hand, and told her, I wanted a divorce. And everything, Mary hold herself back and look at Joseph straight in his eyes and asked him, before you will divorce me, may I ask a favor? And Joseph asked her, what? For one month, I would like to ask you to come home early from your work so that we can have our dinner together with our only son. Can you do this favor for me? So Joseph finally agreed. And he said, but after a month, I will marry Harriet, my new found girl. Mary just keeps silent. And time passes on, and every evening, they have their common dinner together as a family. And after three weeks, Joseph approached Mary and said, I think I made the wrong decision. I think what is lacking in our relationship, that's why it is on the racks. It is because we lack time together. I think I have made the wrong decision. But Mary just keeps silent. And the time comes when it's the time, the last day of what they have agreed. And once again, Joseph hold the hand of Mary and told her, I think I have found out what is my decision. I have called Harriet and I told her, I think I am wrong because for me, you're still the woman that I used to love and I wanted to marry you again and again and again. And Mary, with the tears in her eyes, told him, Oh, Joe said, I thought this is the last day that we were together. But I did this for our only son because I don't want him to suffer because of our separation. And I told you, uh, I will tell you honestly, indeed, this is the last day that the doctor told me because I have an advanced stage of cancer, and I only have one month to live. And this is the day that I have to leave you with our son. And Joseph said, oh Mary, I will never leave our son because he will be our memory together 
because I realize you're always someone that I use to love. And then Joseph pulled out the ring and kneeled in front of Mary. Will you marry me again? For in sickness and in health till death do us part. My dear friends, the sanctity of marriage, it takes, you know, marriage and marriage is the only sacrament that there, were, there are two ministers, the husband and wife. The priest is only a solemnizing officer, the first one to witness to your vows together. And our world now needs more people to say yes when they mean yes and no when they mean no. For all those husband and wives that say yes to each other. Our Lord said, say, let your yes mean yes to each other till death do your part because it is not the plan of God that man divorce his wife because when the Pharisees question, is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife? What did Jesus say? In the very beginning, this is not the plan of God. Because the plan of God, man shall leave his mother and father and cling to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. And you will laugh. Why is it that the church teaches that divorce is not acceptable? in the church. This is not the law just of the church, but it is coming from the teaching of Christ. Because divorce is not the plan of God. Because the very first one who will suffer the consequences of a divided family are the children. That's why Jesus reminds you, all of us and the family, the children, the heaven belongs to such as this. And let not the children stop them to be near to me, to come to me, because the kingdom of God belongs to such as this. It is beautiful. Because Jesus clarified whoever divorces his wife, unless the marriage is unlawful, that's why we have the uh, process of nullifying marriage. But Jesus clarifies, call whoever divorces his wife causes her to commit adultery. And the law of Jesus is whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. You have heard the commandment, but what I say to you is, Jesus gives us a new meaning and a new perspective on the commandment. Because following the commandments, the essence of following the commandments is love. My dear friends, saying yes would be coming from our true love because God loves us. And the sanctity of marriage showed to us by Jesus because he came to save us through a family. And the first miracle in Cana of Jesus was done at the marriage in Cana. Jesus still considers the sanctity of marriage that is building a family of love. So for those married couples, it takes a man for men 
to say yes and mean yes. And it takes a man to be truthful to what you have promised in front of the altar that you will be together for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, till death do your part.